Guys, we're out here at a DUI driver license checkpoint, which I just had to go through twice because I was trying to find a place to park. It's okay, I'm sober. I have a driver's license, I have insurance, car's current. The Pomona police are out here and they are conducting a DUI a driver's license checkpoint. We're going to be out here to see some of the interactions and events that go on. Make sure everybody is treated right, including the officers. So accountability is a two-way street. So he's standing there with his hands behind his back. We're gonna back up a little so we're not in their way. give them some room to work in and i'm going to unplug it guys see if we can get you uh some audio Sorry about that guys, I was adjusting the monopod in my hand. And we have another FST over here. come to do these checkpoints I ensure that I'm dead sober he's gonna have a seat on the curb over here we have a female doing the nine step I missed her doing it. it. looked like she lost her balance, but I could be wrong. I, I just looked over when she stopped. He's going to do the breathalyzer now. They're going to put the machine on there and tell him to blow as hard as you can. And the reason for that is to get all the air out of your lungs. So if there's any alcohol in your, your system, that it will come through your, uh, the pores of your lungs. But at this time, it's just a uh, couple of FSTs, and he's getting ready to blow into the breathalyzer right now. Her deep breath. Okay, he's telling him deep breaths, deep breaths. They always want to just kind of blow into it. You, you got to blow as hard as you possibly can. I mean, you almost have to almost pass out to do that. I had a job once where they had to test your lungs because it was a job that entailed some running. And uh, so I wanted to test my lungs, man. And you blow into this machine that gauges your lung pressure. Oh my God, I almost passed out. So the female is coming over here. She may have to do the breathalyzer as well. Now he's being placed under arrest. A disclaimer, all persons in this video are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. So he's being placed under arrest Possibly for suspicion of DUI. This is why I 
come to these things completely sober. This is why I drive. Completely sober. So the female is over here in a chair. This male here is being placed under arrest. And he'll be placed in the car here. For suspicion of DUI, I'm sure. Okay, they're gonna do a Terry Frisk. This guy's really flying through here. So he's being placed into the car or he'll subsequently be under arrest. So it looks like some of the cars are starting to thin out here. Uh, it's, I just checked the time, it's 11.15. When you come off the freeway, you come off, there's a 71 freeway sign, you come off the the heck was that there was a big boom just now you come off the 71 freeway there was a loud boom and now there's a horn. Holy crap, did that car just crash? That car just crashed. I heard a loud boom and then a horn. Where's the, the sad car in the gate, huh? Comes the person that must have been driving she's handcuffed her airbag went off so why is she handcuffed is the question and why is a police officer driving it usually that means suspicion of DUI and I take that back the sergeant isn't driving he's the one right there the other officer that went behind him was the one driving. That's the sergeant that came up to me and I said, yeah, there's a boom and yeah, something's going on. So he's got her handcuffed here. So she crashed her car, the airbag went off. She's gonna fall over and need to have her sit down. Uh, oh, she's not handcuffed. I retract my statement. She just had her hands behind her back is all. She faked us out. And again, all persons in this video story are innocent until proven guilty.
in a court of law. <laughs> okay, you got somebody coming back this way. Is he supposed to be driving that way? Who is that car? He's going the wrong way, I think, unless they flagged him through. They probably told him to go through here. Oh, they're having him park. Of course they had to tow it. It's right there if you can see it. Oh, the battery's dying. I think. Something. They're gonna tow it. I don't know what happened to the girl uh, that was driving that car because I had to go charge my phone, which the battery started dying. So I don't know if she got arrested or released. Driver accountability, don't drink and drive. And then if they go to arrest somebody, suspect accountability. So they're switching here. She's getting in the passenger seat. He got around into the driver's seat. So maybe the, perhaps she didn't have a driver's license and they, he did and they said, look, just let him drive and you guys will be fine. I don't know why they didn't do that to begin with. That's just an assumption. That's right. When you make an assumption, you make an ass out of you and umption. I know that. Are they going to tow a car or is he just coming back from towing one? Things that make you go, hmm.